saying that former detention center lieutenant has a new gig and the county admits taxpayers are stuck with him. Here's Nancy Laughlin. Well, Dick, the video of Jason Ellis macing an inmate cost him his career as a jailer, but he is still very much a county employee. It is video that is not easy to watch. A naked, mentally ill woman pepper sprayed over and over by then jail guard Jason Ellis. Clean your rooms. Are you going to clean your rooms? No. When there is potential controversy at the jail, it's standard procedure to videotape the event. But this is one case where jail bosses say the 11 year veteran went overboard. Back in November, they fired Ellis for this, but he appealed. It turns out Ellis didn't break any rules. The county said it had to hire him back to avoid a lawsuit. But Public Safety Director Tom Swistak says the jail is no longer a good fit for Ellis. What we've tried to do with Jason is figure out whether or not uh, we might be able to relocate him to another position uh, to kind of uh, put this behind us. And they did move Ellis. He's been reassigned to the county public works department. Instead of working around inmates, he'll be working on phone and computer lines as well as alarms. I think this is in the best interest of both MDC as well as in the best interest of, of, of Jason. Ellis is taking a huge pay cut, going from 26 bucks an hour to 17. And this incident and also cost him his career as a corrections officer. Why did you make me? Go to shower, rinse off. Why did you make me? Because you were told to clean your mouth. Why you put on Ellis starts his new job March 28th. We have spoken to him about an interview tonight, but he says he doesn't want to say anything that might jeopardize his new career. Dick, back to you. All right, Nancy Ellis had other problems at the jail, too. He falsified a report claiming that his car windows were broken out at work, and he was also accused of doctoring timesheets. Ever wonder?